Hey guys, what's going on? And Dylan here, back back to the channel. Today we are back with another installment of the Building the Ultimate in Forza Horizon 5. Now, if you're new to the series or you've just not been watching a few episodes, any little bit of a reminder, this is the series where I am trying to find the best car in Forza Horizon 5 for under 200,000 credits. Now, what we do is we have to buy a car and upgrade that car within that 200,000 credit limit and see which car performs the best down the drag strip in the Horizon Festival. Now, last episode, we did a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which surprised me, which shocked me, going from 136 miles an hour down the drag strip up to 197 miles an hour. It was insane. I was not expecting it. But today, we are doing a bit more of a famous car, uh, a car that's a bit more recognisable by a lot of people, car that I can't believe I've not covered in the 16 episodes I've done so far. Pretty weird. But before we begin guys, if you're new, go down below, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure you check out the other videos in the playlist. It's, you know, been doing this since 2019, quite a few episodes out there. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So this is the Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec. It's, I don't know if it's the exact model that Brian used in Fast and Furious. So this car right here is it's iconic. Everybody knows this car. Okay, this is an iconic car. It's beautiful. Everyone knows what this car is. Now, let's check out the spec of this car, shall we? So the car itself cost me 37,000 credits. We're leaving me with 163,000 credits left over to purchase upgrades, which doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it's quite a lot in the grand scheme of things. Speed is 6.1, handling of 5.1, acceleration of 4.8, launch of 2.5, braking of 3.7, off-road of 5.8, with a class of B635, and it's all-wheel drive. Now, I speculate it's not going to hit 136 miles an hour, purely for the fact that that's, that's a lot. <laughs> 136 miles an hour is a lot for a car to start out as. But, this game has surprised me before, and it will surprise me again. Now, we are going to go down the drag strip, the initial drag strip, to see our baseline for what we are working with. Anyway, we're going to go in 3, 2, 1, go! 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, this thing, gonna, this is bad. This is terrible. Holy... 103, 104, 110, 112 miles an hour. Technically. 112 miles an hour. That's insane. So, yeah. I don't know what to think about that. Because the Nissan Skyline is a beautiful looking car, but it's, I wouldn't say it's their best car. That's the Nissan GTR. That's that's what that car could do. But, as always, we are now going to go into the festival and we're going to actually see how good we can upgrade this car. But now, let us not forget, these upgrades are purely for drag strip speed. They are not for actual racing. Now... That can be addressed in the next season, but let's go into the festival and let's upgrade this car with 163,000 credits. And I think it's time for a time lapse. Let's do this. Okay then, so yeah, that's done. Uh, so we've gone from 1,539 kilograms to 1,269 kilograms. 
with a peak power of 278 up to 891, Lyle G so 1.4 to 1.5, and B635 class to S1844 for a total of 94,100 credits. Now, that leaves us with, let's say, 68,000. I can't do maths. Leaves us about 69,000 credits left over, which is not too bad, to be fair. Can it beat our last record of 197 miles an hour? We're going to find out. But the speed has gone up to 8.6, handling of 5.8, acceleration and launch of 10, braking of 7.3, off-road of 5.1. We've got drag tires equipped to it with a class of S S1844 and all-wheel drive still. Which ain't too bad. It does take the total, however, up to for the car. You are looking at eh, you're looking at about one hundred thirty-one thousand for this car in total, which ain't too bad. Now, the real question is, how well will she do down our famous drag strip? Now we are going to go down the drag strip in three. Two, let's, let's say we have to beat 197 miles an hour. Let's see if we can do it. 3, 2, 1, go. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 169 miles an hour on the dot. That's a respectable score. That is, that is a respectable score. I will definitely say it's respectable. But it doesn't, it doesn't actually beat, I don't, I think it, it doesn't beat our LD TTRS. Our LD TTRS will hit 176, so it's not quite as good as the LD TTRS, um, but if you are new around here guys, maybe ship. Make sure you go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and check out the other videos in the players. We have 16 episodes, and there is more to come, especially we've got a special episode coming up soon. That will be me and my two friends battling. We're going to each pick a car, and we are going to see which car is the best round a track for 200,000. But we're going to be doing it a bit differently than building the ultimate. Ooh, damn. We're going to be... Yeah, we're gonna put a twist on it. We're, we're gonna be picking a specific car type. It's not gonna be any random car. We're gonna be picking, sp picking specific car types. I'm gonna be doing that. So hopefully you guys can stick around for that. I will really appreciate it. Until next time, guys. My name is Dylan Jones, and I hope you enjoy your day. Peace out, guys.